So, I'm back, kind of. <laughs> uh, the shoulder is still messed up, um, but the doctors are telling me that I need to start using it because it could lock up if I don't. And if it locks up, it means surgery. Really had enough surgeries last year. Uh, so, gonna try to avoid that this year. Anyway, uh, so I do have this DVR kit, uh, surveillance camera kit that was sent to me to unbox and review and set up and test out and then uh, let y'all know what I think of it. Um, this is like, a, I think it's $129. The DVR that comes with it does not have a hard drive in it. So uh, right off, right out of the box, it's only good for like uh, watching as things happen. It's not recording. Uh, but you can get a, uh, a hard drive for it, and then it can actually record stuff. So if you get like a terabyte drive, you can record a lot uh, on it. And uh, that's what I intend to do, but I'm going to go ahead and get it all set up, and then uh, putting the hard drive in, I can do at any time, once the cameras are all installed and such. So today, I am going to try, uh, or at least I'll start today. <laughs> we'll see how far I get. Uh, first, let's pop this puppy open and see if uh, see what we got. I've actually already opened it up and looked inside. Uh, however, uh, I just put everything back, and now I'm going to open it for you. Aha! So this is the cameras and the cables. Like here's one cable that I actually undid and unrolled to see how long it was, and these things are like 100 feet, and it comes with four of those because there are four cameras. And each one of these has the uh, video cable, and then it has a power cable as well. And then this is the power cable that has to go near the DVR, and there's a splitter that plugs uh, all the power wires into this one power system, and it powers all the cameras. So that's actually kind of convenient. You can get it all on one plug. The cameras are these little guys. So nice, neat, uh, and they have the, uh, the LEDs for night vision. So that's actually kind of cool. They got a little hood on them for rain stuff. These are rated for outdoor use. And you can loosen the uh, bottom here and you can loosen these two screws and actually tilt the thing. It's not loose right now, so I can't do that without breaking it. I don't want to break it. And then you can turn the base and actually point them different directions. So uh, you can do this two ways. You can drill a hole through the wall and put this through the wall and then the cables aren't showing, or it can bend off to the side and go to uh, your uh, cable, hooks into it, and it can be uh, used that way. Um, I'm only actually going to use three of the cameras for now. Uh, I haven't decided where the fourth one's going to go, but I'm going to put one uh, between, uh, it's going to be, there's going to be two on my tiny house, uh, one that points at the back of the shop and down the far side of the shop, and, uh, or hopefully it'll cover that. So that'll be watching the gate at the front uh, and the uh, back of, uh, door of the shop. And then there's going to be one on the front of the shop pointing off, well, would be what's behind me now. Uh, and that will actually watch the front door of this shop and of the metal shop. And then I'm going to put one on the other end of the tiny house uh, that's going to be pointing out towards my uh, blacksmith shop, metal shop, uh, and the gate that's on that side. So uh, I don't have, like... I'm not nervous about people breaking into my shop really because the way this uh, farm is set up it's kind of hard to get on property without us knowing about it because there's always somebody here um so this is more of a uh it's convenient you know so huh. so there's that part of it that's the cameras let's see i don't even know what this box is this is Okay, that must be power for the DVR, and there's a mouse that comes with it that hooks into the DVR, so you can control the DVR. Some kind of little connector with some screws, we'll figure that out in a minute. 
and a uh, oh, a uh, networking cable. So if you have Wi-Fi, you can actually hook this into the internet as well. So, or if you have a, doesn't necessarily need Wi-Fi. You can hook it directly into a uh, into a network. So, and then here is the DVR. Lots of little connectors on the back. I guess you can see that. I hope you can. But this is a very simplistic uh, DVR. You got the HD out. You get two USB ports and a networking port. There's a 12 volt in, audio out. So it does record audio. Okay, I wasn't, wasn't sure of that. I was looking at the cameras and the, I guess those cables actually do audio and video. So this will actually handle up to eight cameras. Uh, I, it comes with four. You can buy others for it. I do not know what the cost on those are. If I look it up, I will include it in the uh, description down below. So this can actually go back in here. I don't need it just yet. Uh, we'll be setting that up in the house. I'm going to try to get the cameras all hooked up first. There's the instruction booklet. That's a chipping metal. Okay, so. And again, this one is, uh, I believe, from China, so I wonder how good the English in the book is. <laughs> we will regularly update this user manual. Please scan the QR code, visit HTML. Well, that's pretty readable. So, yeah, actually, this is very well written. Cool. I don't have my glasses on, so I'm not actually able to read real detail just yet. Uh, when I have my glasses on, I can do a lot better. But, yeah, please keep your password safe. You can enable the option to remember the password on the page of login. Yeah, it's uh, done, very, done very well. So, yeah, cool. So, I am going to... Uh, get together some uh, ladder, a ladder and some other stuff, screws, etc. And I'm going to start mounting cameras and running cables. Uh, I'm not going to show you every single detail of setting up each of all, of, each of the cameras, uh, but I will show you at least one of them getting put up and I'll probably at least do one of the cables because I've got one that's going to go from the front of the shop all the way through the shop and to the house. And somehow I've got to do that without it, like, being in the way. <laughs> so I'm either going to have to run a pipe and put it through the pipe and run that underground or I'm going to have to uh, do an overhead wire across or something. I haven't got to figure that out yet because um, I haven't figured it out yet. Haven't decided. So, but anyway, uh, I'm going to get on that and I'll uh, to bring you back up to snuff with me here now and then and uh, show you where I'm at and then we'll go from there. All right. Cool, man. See you in a minute.
So there you go, guys. I've got it hooked into my actual television right now, a monitor for my computer, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that's the front of the shop. This is the back of the shop, and this is this camera is actually mounted on the tiny house right over there. And then this one is uh, mounted up on this wall, end wall, looking out towards my truck and the gate and such. Uh, this one actually can see the gate over on the side of the on the side of the shop. And then this one can see all the way out to the driveway. Of course, you can see the driveway here too. But anyway, uh, but I don't leave it hooked up. I'm not going to be leaving it hooked up to this. Uh, you can see the little blue screen right there behind me. That's actually what it hooks into. It's just a little five-inch screen uh, because I can grab the little mouse that comes with it and pick a uh, pick a screen and blow it up to the full five-inch screen over here, and everything works fine. Uh, it's not as big a picture as this, so if I really want to, like, when I get to the point where I'm recording video, uh, like if something actually happens and it, it records it, then I can switch over to this TV and actually get a bigger picture to see what's going on, but I can still see it on this one too, uh, when it's plugged into that one. <laughs> so, yeah, this system actually is at night, uh, because this is the next day after I actually started this video, it went a little longer than I thought <laughs> uh, it doesn't help that I wasn't moving too good with the old shoulder there but uh, but at night uh, this thing looks almost the same as what it does now it's a little darker but I mean you can still see color and stuff in it in the picture at night which I was pretty impressed with that and then if you roll the mouse scroll button you can go to the different cameras so there's the front of the shop there's the back of the shop, and there's the gate again. And then that's, this would be camera four. I don't have camera four hooked up. Just got the three going. So, there you go. And I can actually hook in four more cameras if I wanted to. If I went and bought the cameras and all that good stuff. But I don't think I have a use for eight cameras on this. I do want to put one more. The uh, This one will actually be on the shop on the end pointed out towards the driveway and that will actually get to uh, I'm gonna have it aimed over towards the solar panels on the other side of the property uh, to kind of monitor those because uh, if one of those breaks it's gonna be a big pain in the butt so it'd be nice if I knew how it happened right so anyway guys uh, be sure to look down in the description there's gonna be a link to where you can buy this uh, particular system on Amazon and uh, uh, it will get I will have it set up as an affiliate link so I actually get a little bit if you buy a system like this um, so feel free and then uh, yeah so next video up is going to be getting on that big uh, uh, piece of ash log out there that's got the five five-way crotch and I'm gonna mill it out that's actually what I intend to do next so if you're into the chainsaw thing and you're really not into this video but you'll kind of watched it and you got to this point you'll find out that the next video will be involving chainsaws again so, anyway guys, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Laters. Bye.